Alright folks on YouTube, I'm playing another another Super Nintendo game that I've never played before. It's called The Illusion of Gaia. Okay, it looks a bit better now. I wanna see if um if um if I can watch the intro. So, this game came out in 1994. <laughs> I think it, it was like September of 1994. So, I was, dude, I was like a little four back then. I was a little girl. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's why I wanted to see the intro. The world was in an age of exploration. Looking for new lands? Man uncovered the relics of ancient cultures. As time passed, many legends began to surface. A legend from each ruin, a legend from each culture. Various relics were found in the ruins. One of the legends told of, of strange, strange statues and shapes of spirits. What was a spirit to the ancient people? Ruins? Don't tell us. People who entered the ruins searching for the wealth went in and what? I didn't couldn't read it. <laughs> the rest of it. Some said they were traps to protect the treasure. Others said it was a curse. Dun, 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 dun. Nah, I love this music. It's an awesome man. No one thought these ruins would bring about a disaster. My name is Will. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. My father and his party met with disaster. Somehow I made it back to South Cape. I still can't believe my father is gone. I never, I'll never believe it. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer to see the world. Somewhere I will meet my father. Teacher, that's all for today's lesson. You four do your best to not fall behind. Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. Seth, I'll see you guys at the usual place. Eric, I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept at the school. Ha ha ha. Alright, let's play. Lance, like always, the cave 
at the seashore. Oh well, please recite with me. The world shines on brightly through eternity. Oh, this music reminds me of like being at the beach. It's so relaxing. I envy you when I see the <coughs> when I see the sea breeze blowing your hair like that. Not like mine under this scarf. My astronomer friend said something very strange. A star is approaching the Earth. My friend Eric lives there, here. This is the biggest house in South Cape. Will envy people born to rich families? Eric's house, oops. It's the little things in life that make you rich or poor. Well, Heard any good stories? I guess. Eric's father, everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing. We moved to this uh, town before one else. Eric's mother, don't worry. I'm not on fire. It's just a treatment uh, for my sore body. Cleaning this big house all day makes my brain ache. I don't know why, like, when I break them up the carpet, it makes me tired for some reason. I have no idea why. It just doesn't. It's, oh wait, right, oh, I'm talking already, huh. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. It's strange. This game is like Red Light Green Light. Yeah, I played this game when I was a kid, too. How long have we been playing this? Oh, no! What are you doing, this child? Honestly. I talked to you already. I feel sorry for Seth. I understand why he hates to see his parents fighting every day. I, mean, I don't like it either. No one wants to see the parents arguing, and I don't like it when mine do it either. Don't like it. This is Lance's house. He lives here with his frail mother. Lance's mother. Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. found the red jewel. Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year uh, now. It seems like only yesterday. It's like Seaside Heights, Seaside Heights, New Jersey, yeah? I feel sorry for that. Oh yeah, we have already talked to you. No sooner was the door to Seth's house open than the door came flying out. <coughs> you look like a fast runner. To run, push the control pad twice. Oh well, please recite with, please recite with me. The world shines on brightly through eternity. Oh her. I am Gaia, the source of all life. I will help you on uh, your journey. Only one with the dark power can see this space. You are the chosen one. In a dark space, you can 
record a travel journal, stop there before you depart. Record what's happened so far. Hey, well, how many times have I told you not to come up here? Oh, sorry, Charlie, I didn't know that. You have a habit of jumping down from places. Well, I guess I can't really stop you. I am the jeweler's gem. I control the seven seas. Hmm, this is a rare jewel. Let me hold it for you. There are now one jewels in the room. I will give you goods for your jewels as written on the list. What's this? Won't you hold up the red jewels? You have to come up running to my place. I am a famous master of disguises. If you saw me in another town, you wouldn't know me. Oh yeah, you saw that movie before? Anyone saw that movie, Master of Disguise, like with D Dana Carvey? It's a good movie. <laughs> Salesman, I travel all around to people's houses uh, to sell them weapons used to fight we may live in troubled times, but I wouldn't sell a weapon to a child. To a child. This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola uh, is making smells really great. Welcome home. Well, dinner isn't ready yet. Go outside and, and play for a while. I'm right. There's been a lot of strange merchants lately doing bu um, business. I travel around to people's houses selling weapons used to fight demons. We may live in troubled times, but I wouldn't sell a weapon to a child. Many demons are prow prowling around outside the town. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave your town without your parents? Okay. Gosh, I just can't. I can't pull it up. Okay. <coughs> it was natural for the four friends to call uh, the Seaside Heights, New Jersey, <laughs> their second home. Oh, to call it their second home. Usually, when lessons were done at the school, they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Lance, what is it, Will? It's late. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Ha ha ha, I'm going to win again for sure. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Ugh. Big news, big news. The Princess of Edward Castle has run away. They say she came to South Cape. That's all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really... Big had happened. The princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara. Uh, the one you like so much. Don't worry, I'm spoiled too. I've always been spoiled. <laughs> Liar. Maybe the soldiers will come here looking for her. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I'm gonna steal Helmet Tell. And I thought everyone would be surprised. Well, get o Will, get over here and sit next to Eric. 
everyone's here. What should we do today? I want to see Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He moved the statue that's in the corner of the cave. Will, show me again. Oh, that's the time. Let's pick a card, any card. I will put four cards face down. Pick the card uh, you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Pick a card you think is the Ace of Diamonds. It is the Ace of Diamonds, of course. Oh, ah, right. I'm speechless. Hey, Seth. This is some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. But I know about six sense. I think Will's psychic power it's some kind of sixth sense. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Let's play one more game. Oh, that is a good time. What's that saying? Even if I move to another place, I can't pull it up. I feel sorry for Seth. Oh, never mind. I was just ready. It's no joke, that man. I put up with it for Seth's sake, but if it weren't for him, I'd be. I left a long time ago. What's wrong with having a little fun with my hard-earned money? Got your income taxes, huh? Your father has been lost at the Tower of Babel for a year now. It seems like only yesterday. Oh, we were here. My astronomer friend says something very strange. A star is approaching near. I envy you when I see the sea breeze blow on your hair like that. Oh, we have a you already. <laughs> it's the little things in life that make it richer for Everyone is jealous of this big house. It's nothing we moved uh, to this town before anyone else. Demons are prowling around outside the town. Didn't your teacher warn you not to leave 
Oh, and tell them that your parents. Yes. Oh, there's a pig. The pig's back in the room. Oink, oink, oink. But why is there a pig in my house? Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Yes, and this little piggy went home. Are you moving me? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's sweet. Carrot, Hamlet, you shouldn't uh, snore at strangers. Is this your house? Yeah, so? Frankly, you look a little shabby. Well, excuse me, princess. Yeah, I just moved out the cartoon. Yes, well, excuse me, princess. Your father, mother, not here, huh? Is this a picture of your parents? I guess. My father's an explorer. He... I know, Almond, the explorer. They say he was lost. He'll come back someday. Are you sad? No. I'd be sad. If it were me, I'm sorry. Anyway, is, that, is there a piano here? No, there isn't, but Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. <coughs> Welcome home. Well, when I sing opera, I lose track of the time. Dinner is not ready yet. Oh my, I haven't sung this in a long time. Your grandmother, Lola, used to be a singer. I fell in love with her voice, that's why I married her. Ha ha ha, you wouldn't pretend like that. Oh, they're just batteries. No! I scream from downstairs. Oh, awesome.